Hello. It's uh, fairly dark, but there are three lights on just behind me here. And uh, that puts me in mind of the Sun Zhao, the upper, middle, and lower burners. They are uh, in traditional Chinese medicine. component of the body that is uh, functions as a metabolizer both earth and water kidney and spleen so they kind of uh, share some of the functions of the kidney share some of the functions of the spleen It's often described as a water wheel, the Sun Yin Zhao. And so, um, to me, water and earth in this moment are giving me the thought of mud, which of course makes me think of the lotus. And I'm sitting in lotus at the moment. I'm actually going to move. I'm just doing a meditation to feel the action of that wheel in the trunk. Consider the mud, the uh, yeah, the relationship of uh, uh, the earth and the water, the relationship of the kidney and the spleen. trying to do is experience the process of change in the body without my brain jumping ahead following the pattern and getting out of the moment so change we often think of as um, the resultant the effects of the change but the changing happens in the current moment and so to witness change and not be carried off by it in the mind my work here. So I'm watching the Sun Yin Jiao, the Sun Jiao, the upper, middle, lower burners. I'm watching them metabolize my experience, metabolize my um, food stuff intake. But I'm not doing it with an eye towards getting carried away to what those changes mean and where they take me. So I can touch in to the levels of the three gel with my hands. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna sit lotus and experience the mud of this practice. So I'm breathing. So I'm tuned into the the transformative fires in the body, the food becoming fuel, the fuel becoming process, the process becoming pattern, the pattern becoming me. So my practice here is simply to watch the process without looking ahead to the result. There's a process of transformation. Which of course occurs
prayers with the kidneys or prayers with the spleen. The spleen, if I hadn't just eaten, maybe being more obvious in that what it processes is experience. Whereas the kidneys, you can feel them processing, you know, actually part of my dinner. So with every inhalation, I'm fueling these fires. And the food is already in the belly. The breath is added to the fuel. And the transformation begins. So the three lights representing the upper, middle, lower jowl. I'm looking at the screen when I can see the three lights that you're looking at behind me. And looking at the three lights, I find it helpful that I don't settle into the experience of one jowl, which is I feel like I'm apt to do when I check in with the body. Whichever one needs the attention, whichever one needs the attention, or has my attention, or is working, is where my attention goes. But looking at the lights, I'm kind of continually reminded I would check in on all three. Don't just look at what's shiny or in need, the entirety of that system. Actually, massaging a lot of intestine too by the diver's mouth. I do this to expel some of this external wind heat so that the, the upper jaw is more obvious to me. of a boring video of mostly dark and three lights. <laughs> so, hopefully that give you a little bit of something to consider. I'll see if maybe I'm a little bit more lit there. But, thank you very much.